We therefore have mandate to re uh, safeguard the peace and unity of our country. We, in this regard, commend His Excellency the President Dr. William Ruto and the leader of Azimio Umoja, Right Honorable Odinga, for hearing the plea of Kenyans and seek to engage in consultations to resolve the political differences. It is unfortunate that so much blood of Kenyans had to be shed and so much property destroyed before the voice of the reason prevailed. We pray alone for the leaders. We pray and long for the leaders of our nation who will be continually focused on the welfare of the people of Kenya, not just their vested interests. But that this morning some police officers invaded the home of Bishop Professor David Kodia, the chairman of NCCK in Nyanza region, without a search or arrest warrant. We believe that the police were seeking to arrest him because of his vocal statements on matters of social justice. We call on the president to assure Kenyans of the protection and freedom of all people, including religious leaders who speak out for the people. Message to Kenyans. Dear brothers and sisters, we know that we are all affected by the rising cost of living and the economic state of the nation. However, we must be hope hopeful and work hard to adapt to the changing social, economic and climatic, and climatic changes. We must also continually demand that our leaders, both in government and in the opposition, listen to us so that we together seek and implement viable solutions to our problems. In this way, we will treasure and safeguard our peace and democracy and protect our lives and those of our future generations.